Hello everyone. My name is Becky Bochung and I'm part of the response team at Audacious Manchester Central. As we continue our series on favorite Bible characters, I would like to share one of my favorites and that is David. Since childhood, I have loved the story of how David, the young shepherd, defeated the giant Goliath. David was my hero from that time on. As I grew up and learned more about him, I realized there are many life lessons we can learn from David. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, we see that when David defeated Goliath, he did not rely on armor or weapons. David's confidence was in God. He fully believed he would win because he knew who was fighting on his side. During hard times when I struggle to trust God, I am reminded of David. The God we serve is capable of defeating any giants in our lives. When I am uncertain about the future, David's story reminds me to trust God and have faith in Him. Reading the Bible and studying His Word is very important to me, as knowing God through His Word builds my trust in Him. One of the most important lessons I learned from David's life is that God is gracious and forgives those who repent. I am a sinner and I thank God for examples like David, which show me that I can be forgiven. David was also a sinner. Many of the tragedies in his life were the result of his sins. Through it all, God disciplined David. Despite his sins, he returned to the Lord. He did not continue to pursue non-sins, but repented when they were pointed out to him. God forgave him because he repented. We can read David's confession in Psalm 51, verse 1 to 4. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love. According to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. For I know my transgressions and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. So you are right in your verdict and justified when you judge. So despite making many mistakes, David was not defined by them. Just as believers today, we are not defined by our mistakes. We all make mistakes, yes, but they do not define us. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 11 says, And that is what some of you were. But you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. The overall assessment of David's life is that he was a man after God's own heart. This doesn't mean that every action he took was godly, but that the general direction of his life was toward pleasing God. David's desire was always to please God. In contrast, when Saul sinned, he was more concerned with disappointing the people than obeying God. David was just the opposite. Pleasing people is a trap, but a life that pleases God will always be blessed. There's much more I would like to share, but time is so limited. If you want to learn more like me from the life of David and grow a stronger relationship with God, I would like to encourage you to read the Psalms where you can find a wealth of information about David's relationship with God. 
So David's life clearly demonstrates that God does not require perfection to use someone. Despite his imperfections, God still used David. Repentance doesn't demand perfections. It requires an honest and humble heart. Don't let the voice of shame prevent you from progressing in your walk with God. He will never reject you. Have a blessed day, everyone. Bye-bye.